Good afternoon everyone and hope you all are having a wonderful trading week so far. In today's video, I'm going to share an update to the Market Pulse indicator, which is this line that you see on our charts. The Market Pulse was one of our first ThinkScript tutorials and you can download the Thinkorswim version on our website at tosindicators.com slash indicators slash Market Pulse. There you can find not only the tutorial, which goes into a little bit more detail around what the indicator represents, but you can also learn a little bit more around the four different stages that the indicator helps you actually measure. A quick TLDR for those of you that don't want to watch the full tutorial, the actual market pulse line is based off of the 10 period variable moving average line. That's the 10 VMA and that's where this line actually plots. Now there's three colors associated to the market pulse line. It can either be green, which suggests the market is in a stage of acceleration. It can either be red, which suggests the market is in a stage of deceleration, or it can be gray, which will change uh, based off of two stages, either distribution if price is below that 10 period VMA, or accumulation if price is above that 10 period VMA. Now traditionally this indicator has been available only for the Thinkorswim platform, Today, I'm happy to announce that we also have a version for TradingView available, and that's completely free and you don't even need to sign up for the TradingView version. All you need to do is come into tradingview.com slash u slash TOS indicators. Inside of the scripts tab, you'll find the market pulse. Go ahead and click that. And once you have the market pulse loaded on, you can scroll down and click add to favorite indicators, which will then add it to your indicator repository, which allows you to add it to any chart that you'd like and use it in a similar fashion as you would on the Thinkorswim platform. I know a lot of folks have been asking for a market pulse for the TradingView platform, and we finally have that available. So hope that's helpful for those of you that prefer the TradingView platform over Thinkorswim, or you'd just like to have both versions available uh, for your trading purposes. So that's it. That's the one little announcement in today's video. Market Pulse now available for TradingView. I'll leave a link to both the Market Pulse indicator uh, through our TradingView link, along with the original Market Pulse video tutorial link, which allows you to A, learn a little bit more about the indicator, and then B, apply it to your TradingView platform. All right, hope this helps. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and I hope you have a wonderful close this week. Take care.